All right, now, I've previously discussed the terror as something resembling a popular reaction to popular insurgency and to foreign war, uh, but of course, it, it was far, far more than this. That was simply the very beginnings of it. Uh, it was fundamentally a protracted official government policy, a reaction, uh, an, a, a protracted war in the face of crisis at home and abroad. And it began in the uh, early spring and, and, and began to unfold throughout the summer uh, of 1793. That, that, that's where its, its origins lay. And contrary to popular belief, the true origins of uh, the terror do not lay with uh, Maximilien Robespierre. Uh, this falls in the lap of one uh, Georges-Jacques Danton, Robespierre's, at the time, uh, his uh, colleague and uh, friend, whose, uh, it was on his uh, suggestion that the Revolutionary Tribunal be introduced as a means of speeding up the uh, justice process and convicting uh, suspected traitors, royalists, and counter-revolutionaries. Uh, this is, it's probably a good thing to keep in mind that this happened in February 1793, and a month prior to this was the uh, trial and execution of the king, which had been an extremely uh, protracted, uh, soul-wrenching experience in which the king, uh, of, course, of course he was uh, convicted, uh, I believe unanimously, but was only narrowly uh, executed by uh, a very, a very, very, very uh, narrow margin. And this was a very, very difficult, lengthy process, and the revolutionaries uh, couldn't uh, feasibly repeat this, e even anything resembling this process in the future, <laughs> particularly in, in, in light of the fact that they had recently declared war in addition to Austria and uh, Prussia, who they'd been battling for uh, nearly a year prior to this. They'd recently declared war on uh, England, Spain, Holland, among others, uh, which, Robespierre, incidentally, uh, Robespierre himself was initially opposed to. You may recall him, the, the, the quote, uh, no one loves armed missionaries. Well, that, that originates with Robespierre. Uh, it's, it's important to keep in mind that at, during this time, at, in the spring of 1793, in addition to there being a, an emergent literal civil war within the provinces of France and a uh, foreign war, there was actually another civil war within the government of France itself. This was between uh, the moderate uh, Girondins and the more radical Jacobins, or the Montagnards as they were called, that being French, I believe literally for mountaineer, they sat in the highest uh, seats of the convention, the, 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 the most radical uh, left deputies, and you know, hence the, hence the name. And there was uh, beginning to be this uh, game of tug of war between the two sides. It was the moderates idea predominantly for war in the first place, and they had seemed to, have, at, at this stage, it had seemed uh, that they had failed. Uh, France was certainly uh, not, not in the best of condition. Um, they had only <laughs> narrowly escaped being having their uh, capital city invaded a few months uh, prior to this. And at this point in time, there was a, a, a real need uh, to eliminate the threat to their back of, uh, of civil war and of spies and traitors, of which were in fact right. This wasn't uh, mere paranoia. Uh, the, uh, there was a true network of actual traitors, royalists and spies, particularly uh, communicating uh, with the English, and th there, wa there was an understandable degree of paranoia, and it was uh, difficult to understand who to trust in these completely, uh, it, it's sort of you know, almost difficult to imagine uh, how you know, one's uh, psyche uh, could be strained to the breaking point at, at, at this stage for the uh, revolutionaries in France, but needless to say, they had enemies uh, to their face and their backs and all around them. And it, the, the uh, Revolutionary Tribunal introduced by Danton was this attempt to speed up the justice process and make it a little bit easier to conduct their own war, uh, which, uh, again, had been instigated at the behest of the moderates. And this uh, perceived failure on the part of the moderates to properly, uh, to properly pursue the cause of war, which they'd been such firm instigators in favor of, was seen as one of their major failings, as well as uh, the reticence to pursue uh, the policy of terror, which was the ultimate implication of these sorts of wars and of uh, of, of the revolutionary itself uh, in the face of the insurgency. And they, they were seen as 
uh, ultimately impotent and ineffective. And uh, during uh, the summer of uh, 1793, one of the first, um, uh, some of the first uh, victims of the Revolutionary Tribunal were the moderates themselves, the Girondins. Uh, popular uh, moderate orators such as uh, Brissot and Vernou uh, were arrested, I, I believe, on, in the sessions of May 31st to June 2nd and uh, tried before the Revolutionary Tribunal. They wouldn't be executed until uh, shortly after Marie Antoinette, uh, later in the year in uh, early November. But uh, the, 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 uh, the, the uh, cause of justice was relatively swift and, uh, and uh, their undoing came uh, pretty quickly, largely as a result of their uh, own incompetence and inability to see to fruition the policies that they had instigated in the first place. And at this point in time, um, the uh, Girondins were essentially expelled from the convention. Um, the the new, the new uh, masters of the convention were, were, were the radical party, and it was uh, m the majority of more moderate deputies essentially, uh, l you know, listened to the uh, these these newcomers, uh, you know, who, who were going, now going to be given a shot and given a chance to uh, you know, f make their policies effective. And one of the first things they did was um, give real teeth and binding power to this uh, small uh, committee known as the Committee of Public Safety. Uh, it, it, this was around; it had been uh, organized a, a, f a few months prior to the fall of the Girondins, but uh, with the addition of Robespierre and I believe uh, July uh, 1793, and a few others. Uh, it began to f they, they began to form essentially a 12-man dictatorship, uh, and th it was the first true executive power that had exercised any any real binding power since uh, the effective fall of the monarch, you know, uh, a few months before, and well, realistically, a few years before, and. This was the first time there had been any true centralized leadership, which the country was, uh, by the admission of everyone, in dire need of at the time. It was uh, falling apart. There was no leadership, and this uh, a centralized uh, executive branch was the last hope, essentially, uh, of uh, of the revolution. They needed a, 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 a small class of men to coordinate uh, a resurgence of power, and this is what the committee went about doing through many vast, vast measures. Um, they, they were military as well as uh, economic. And one of the more effective of these economic policies was an ordinance known as the Law of the Maximum. Uh, the idea behind this was to curtail the speculation that was uh, rife within the Republic among uh, the merchants and the investors who sought to uh, just heinously rise, uh, raise the price of basic uh, commodities through the roof. Uh, through, through their uh, uh, speculation and uh, purchasing activities, effectively to starve the people for their own profit, as well as uh, the profit of the uh, monarchists uh, throughout throughout Europe, which yeah, obviously this this would decisively weaken uh, the strength and the resistance of the French people uh, without basic access to basic uh, commodities. So this 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 law, the law of the maximum, put a uh, uh, a limit, a maximum price on uh, certain uh, commodities, certain things, like, things like bread and many, many other uh, basic uh, just food and household items and things that the average uh, citizen was uh, in desperate need of and things which you know were in danger of being uh, uh, incapable of being uh, purchased by the average citizen. And so this was one of something the committee was able to uh, pass through uh, with their centralized power.